Two teenagers are in custody tonight after one man was found shot to death, another injured in Chula Vista. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I am Wale Alu. Police say it happened here at the Salerno Luxury Apartments in Otay Ranch. The 15-year-olds are facing charges of attempted murder for injury to the man found alive. But there are still many questions about what led to the altercation of the man found dead at the scene. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo joins us now after speaking with neighbors in the area. What do you know, Laura? People who live around here tell me this is usually a quiet neighborhood, although some say they have noticed an increase in crimes in recent months. They describe yesterday's shooting as a war zone. This is what woke neighbors up Wednesday. It was 1.23 in the morning, and just six seconds later... Another round of gunshots. I woke up to a bunch of uh, gunshots, and uh, first I thought there were fireworks, and then um, I heard the police. These videos shared anonymously by a neighbor who caught audio of the shooting on their cameras. Families who live close by in shock. Everybody talking about, did you hear the shots? Eight or nine shots at like 1.30 in the morning, but I was up, I didn't hear anything. Chula Vista police spent all day investigating. It happened on Calle Verona in Otay Ranch. Police say the call came from a woman who said her friend had been shot and was bleeding. When officers arrived, they found a man outside an apartment shot in the head. He died at the scene. Officers also found a 24-year-old inside the apartment shot in the face. He was conscious and taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Very scary. Very scary. I have uh, kids in the house. The, their rooms are facing the area where it happened, so it, it shook us up a little. One neighbor showed us what he thinks are bullet holes that pierce the fence in his backyard. He says detectives did show up to investigate. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon, police announced the arrest of two 15-year-old boys for the attempted murder of the 24-year-old man. Police don't think it was a random attack, but people who live nearby say they are worried with more concerning activity in the neighborhood. Especially at nighttime, we see, hear a lot of sirens, uh, helicopters. People screaming, people yelling for help the other night. Again, police don't think this was a random attack. Anyone with information about this investigation is asked to call Crime Stoppers. In Chula Vista, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.